Welcome to the channel. Tomorrow's a big day for this Gladiator Rubicon EcoDiesel. It's going to be getting some new upgraded tires. I spent the last couple years modifying this Wrangler Willys EcoDiesel over here, and that's about done. It has a few things I want to do, but mostly every major component that you need for overlanding has been upgraded. Now it's time to switch my focus onto this Gladiator Rubicon EcoDiesel. We're going to start using this to tow our X Hunter XV3 trailer. Tomorrow it's going to be getting some Nitto. 35 by 11 and a half by 17 trail glapper tires and those tires are going to allow us to give us peace of mind we're going off-road into situations that the stock tires being an all-terrain tire which are great on the highway and great for fuel mileage they just don't give you that peace of mind and the other thing is we're getting a lot bigger tire they're going to be 35 by 11 and a half by 17 as opposed to these which are about a 31 i think so these tires are going to be upgraded. We're going to be using the same stock Jeep wheels because those 35 by 11 and a half by 17s fit on a seven and a half inch rim, which is what the Jeep has. And hopefully there's going to be plenty of room to fit them in the wheel wells. I think there is, I've checked around. It seems like there is. We'll dry fit one to start, make sure. There may be some problems with rubbing when the Jeep is articulating. We'll see what happens. But I'm really excited about tomorrow. A big upgrade, tires, going to make the Jeep a lot more capable and give us a lot more confidence going off-road. My videos are unsponsored. All the products that you see in my videos I bought with my own money. Today's a big day. I'm here at the tire shop. So it's a beautiful morning. I'm going to be getting the new Nitto Trail Grapplers mounted and installed on my Gladiator. This, trip, this car will be ready, ready to take out on the trail. Great day to get some tires. I'm going to be saying goodbye to these Wild Peak stock tires that came on the Jeep. Be a little more aggressive tire with the Nitto Trail Graveler. Be going on our first trip next week with the new tires. We're getting all warmed up here at the tire shop. They have a lot of work to do just to get the, this place open. Get all the cars out and all the tires out that they store inside overnight. There's a new way to support Muddy Ruts Overlanding. Use the link down below and go to MuddyRuts.com. Pick up a great Muddy Ruts Overlanding t-shirt or a hoodie. It's easy. You support the channel, and I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I've already seen the tires. They're over here, stacked up, ready to go. One thing you have to do when you buy these tires is you have to decide which, which side you want out. I'm getting these brand new Nitto Trail Grapplers installed. 35 by 11 and a half by 17 on the Gladiator Eco Diesel. Five of them. I don't go on the trail without a spare. If you buy these tires, you have to make a decision which side you want out. Really, both sides are very aggressive. The one thing that's pretty different is the lettering. This side has the, the pointed lettering. This side has the block lettering. It's cool looking. Both sides are cool looking. Nice aggressive tread. It's a load range C tire. That's all the Jeep Gladiator needs is a C rated tire. That's what it came with. But you can see, made in the USA. It's another real important part of buying tires or buying anything for the Jeep. Try to get as much US made products as possible on it. We're going to try one out first, make sure it fits. Everything I read tells me they're going to fit. The Gladiator uh, Rubicon comes with a taller stance. So hopefully this fits on there. Not too much rubbing, if any. Not a super wide tire. I think we're not going to have any problem. As these tire guys get going, they got a lot of work to do before they can even get going here. They got to move all the tires out, move all the cars out. Some nice new tires on this Gladiator Rubicon Eco Diesel. With the bumper and the winch, the new tires, just a couple more things I need to do to this car. Get this thing really ready the way I want to. Uh, it's going to take a little while to pay for these tires. Uh, they're pretty expensive. These aggressive tires, I won't have to worry about making a bigger tire size on these ve this vehicle. With that eco diesel motor, there's plenty of torque and power, horsepower, to spin these tires. And I'm expecting the fuel mileage to drop a little bit. Get one tire mounted, see how it fits under there. And by noon today, four brand new tires. A little more aggressive, a little more capable Jeep Gladiator Rubicon eco diesel. It's going to be awesome. I paid for these tires with my own money, and I didn't have any kind of relationship with Big O. They happened to be right around the corner from me. Made it very convenient, and it'll make it convenient to go back and get them rotated. 
But I did pay for all the tires myself, and I'm not getting any kind of promotional support from Big O, but they did a great job, and thanks to Big O. I like Big O's lift for picking the truck up to put the tires on. One thing I've always been suspect of is when somebody puts a jack underneath the differential and lifts the vehicle that way. I don't really think it's designed to do that. Let me know in the comments if you think it's okay to jack a car up with a jack underneath the differential. Maybe I'm wrong about that. <laughs> we mounted one tire up and it looked like it was going to fit great so i told him to go ahead and put the tires on i helped him get the spare down and then i went home and waited for a call that my vehicle was done The tire store is right around the corner from my house, so I was able to walk back in a few minutes. I found the Jeep sitting out in the parking lot, all ready to go. I was super impressed by how these tires looked on the Jeep and how they enhanced the appearance. After the tires were installed, the alignment was a little out, so they fixed that at the tire shop also. They also told me at a full right turn, there was some rubbing on the inside fender well, but I fixed that when I got home. These nittles will be a game changer when we're going off road compared to the stock tires. I asked the guys at the tire shop if they wanted to use tires for Falcon Wild Peaks with 10,000 miles and one brand new one that was a spare, but they said they really probably couldn't sell them. So I called a buddy and he said he would try and sell them. He's pretty good at selling stuff. Let's see how he does. I see a lot of used Jeep tires and a lot of used Jeep wheels, and I'm not really sure how good of a luck you'll have selling these, but he'll give it a shot. I was pretty surprised that all five of them fit in the small bed of Jeep Gladiator. At a hard right turn, the new tire was catching on the fender well. I noticed it was sagging down quite a bit, so I drilled a couple holes in the fender well, and I zip tied it, to a couple of spots that I could attach that zip ties to underneath on the frame and it stopped. We'll see how good of a solution that really is. We'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully it lasts a while. The ECRI is a device that amongst other things reprograms the speedometer for the new tire size. You can measure your tire size and also use the GPS to program the tire size with the ECRI. These 35s end up being 33.64. I bet the speedometer is more accurate now than when it left the factory. All the products that you see in my videos I bought with my own money. But there is a way you can show your support for Muddy Ruts Overlanding. You can go to my website and buy a t-shirt. The link is in the description down below and you really help me out. I'd like to get the Muddy Ruts name out there. And if you're enjoying the videos and you want to show some support, that's a great way to do it. The new Nitto Trail Grapplers are installed and they look great. With these new tires installed, it's time to adjust the hitch height so we can safely tow our Accenture XV3 trailer with the Gladiator. My Wrangler Willys Eco Diesel is still going to be my go-to vehicle for overlanding trips. I'll let you know how the Gladiator worked out on its first overlanding trip with its new tires in an upcoming video. Keep an eye out for it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And remember, the best is yet to come.